<laughs> Venturi, you know. Is the fire extinguisher part of your gaming setup? Yeah, if things go bad, I need I need that to stop it from going even worse, right? We have to save some parts. Sure, it's like the graphics card can explode and stuff, but we have to save the motherboard. <laughs> we have to save something, the fans, the CPU, anything that can be saved. Yes, please. It's like, you know it's hardcore when you need a fire extinguisher. <laughs> Dave Port Lee says, I have a fire extinguisher here on your table. Powdered. Oh, do, 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 do. the thing with powdered fire extinguishers is that you have to clean that afterwards. It's better for you to get a CO2. Yeah. Carbon dioxide. But David Port, it's whatever. Of course, if you want to have it perfect, you should get the CO2. But otherwise, you can stay with the powdered fire extinguisher, I'd say. And yet you have to clean a lot of it. So make up your mind. <laughs> I'd say if you don't want to clean after that powder, just take the CO2. But yeah, the thing is, actually, there is a detail. With the CO2, it, uh, it doesn't reduce the temperature. So you have an, if you have an ongoing fire, you're just going to put it's like the powder on top. But the heat is still going to be there. So it, potentially, it could, it could continue getting damaged from underneath. Meanwhile, the CO2 reduces the temperature immediately. Because that thing, I mean, if you fire a, fire, a CO2 fire extinguisher against somebody, don't do that. It's pretty, pretty bad because the temperature is very low. With the powdered fire extinguisher, there is no temperature reduction. It's just smothering the flame, right? So potentially, you could you will stop the flame, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to keep uh, generating heat, at least by what I've read. I mean, before you, you buy it, just ask, ask them, right? Just ask them. Although apparently fire extinguish fire people don't really want to tell you anything unless you're going to, unless you have a big business or you're going to put stuff around all your house. You know how tricky it is to get information by the fire people? It's like, isn't safety supposed to be this great thing? And yet, oh, I want to ask you about fire alarms. Uh, we don't see it yet by... Uh, uh, one fire alarm with your whole system. One by four system, it costs a thousand dollars. I don't want to buy fire whole system. What is wrong with you? I want fire extinguisher. <laughs> fire extinguisher, go away. Uh, come on, please. You, maybe we could just buy, sell you one, but can you tell me more about it? What are you asking? Are you crazy? It feels like that pretty much. Okay, why are we talking about this? Do you guys want to have me, uh, me to uh, uh, have fire? I don't want to have fire. I want everything to work perfectly. I don't want to uh, smell crispy, crispy stuff and uh, destroyed capacitors. Actually, uh, in my experience, I had a video card, an AMD video card in the past. Now it's like an NVIDIA. Because... Superior! And that thing actually blew resistors. It's like, and there was actually a small fire in the computer. And it's pretty scary, to be honest, because why? First of all, why would it do that? It's not working normally. And that video card already had been replaced. It's like the first one broke. Then I replaced it with a second one, you know, in warranty. And that thing also blew after a few several years, the resistors. And then I had it repaired and it worked. And then it blew again. So three times it broke. Three times it broke. Two times it caught small fire inside the computer. You what? 